2018 has felt a bit like Christmas Eve, but without the excitement and the festivities of Christmas. The months have dragged on, it's felt like the longest year ever. Um, I think I've been so focused on all the exciting things that are happening in 2019 and planning so many things for next year that 2018 has just felt a bit slow and not overly exciting. The fact that the last four years have had a lot going on and have been very much exciting probably hasn't helped either. Although Nick and I didn't head overseas this year, we did manage to go on some pretty cool adventures to Petuna Farm in Martinborough to walk through a chasm in Easter, and to Queenstown to celebrate Nick's 30th during an adventure-packed week. The rest of 2018 consisted of hanging out with friends and family, getting my restricted license, taking part in a dragon boat competition, turning 26, celebrating one year being back in New Zealand, hanging out with red pandas, getting two of my wisdom teeth out, celebrating being homeowners for one year, countless hours spent wedding planning, and of course, more renovations to our house. We did up the garden, the hallway, the bathroom, our bedroom, and we almost finished our new steps and deck. My obsessions for the year consisted of the My Favourite Murder playlist, which I'm still listening to, the TV show Jane the Virgin, Kit Kat Caramel Pretzel Chocolate, and Ariana Grande. I also rewatched all of the Gilmore Girls series and I'm still just as obsessed with the Hamilton soundtrack. While I don't think 2018 will be a standout year when I'm looking back on it, it was still a pretty good year and I'm really pleased with how much Nick and I have fitted in to the last 12 months. That's it really from me, I hope you two have had a really good year, I wish you all the best for the year to come and I'll see you all in 2019.